James, Earl of Wessex showed off his latest growth spurt at St. George Chapel, Windsor, this morning, with the lofty teen now towering above his mother. James, 16, was seen arriving with his parents, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, for the annual Easter Sunday service. The schoolboy looked smart in a navy suit, paired with a light blue tie and a crisp white shirt, along with black polished shoes. The royal was pictured standing next to his father Prince Edward, 60, who is thought to be around 6 feet tall. The Duke's teenage son has almost outgrown him, with photos showing he's now almost the same height. Royal enthusiasts took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to express their disbelief at the young Earl's height. One wrote, James, Earl of Wessex attends the Easter Matins service at St. George Chapel, Windsor Castle today. He is so tall now. Another penned. Can we talk about the height of James, Earl of Wessex, huh? A third commented. James, Earl of Wessex is looking so grown up. James lives at Bagshot Park, a 17th century estate near Windsor, with his parents. The 15th in line to the throne, and the youngest grandchild of the late Queen Elizabeth II, he was born James Alexander Philip Theo Mountbatten Windsor in Surrey on December 17, 2007. King Charles and Queen Camilla followed closely behind in a separate car. The monarch smiled and waved to masses of royal fans who were standing outside Windsor Castle to show their support for the royal. Elsewhere, leading members of the royal family put on a show of sartorial solidarity today, by donning shades of traditional Easter green. Many of the senior royals appeared to coordinate their looks at the traditional service, with Queen Camilla, Princess Anne and Sarah Ferguson all looking elegant in green. Camilla grinned broadly at well-wishers gathered as she arrived by the monarch's side at St. George Chapel, Windsor this morning. The Queen, 76, looked elegant in a racing green dress with coordinating hat, matched with black suede knee-high boots and a black clutch bag. Meanwhile, the Princess Royal also opted for the traditional shade, which is said to symbolize new beginnings, wearing a herringbone coat with a matching pillbox hat with feather adornment. Today's church service comes a week after the monarch's daughter-in-law Kate revealed she had been diagnosed with cancer and was undergoing preventative chemotherapy. William and Kate didn't attend today's service. Instead, the family are spending the holidays together as Kate recovers at home. Prince Andrew led the procession of the remaining royals as they arrived at the chapel for the ceremony today. Aides have reportedly said that His Majesty's attendance at any event is to be hoped for and planned for rather than assumed, as he continues to focus on his health.
Charles' engagement today will be seen as the king making a move to reassure the public following the shock news. The king has been receiving treatment for an undisclosed form of cancer since early February after he had an operation for an enlarged prostate at the London Clinic. William is due to return to public duties after his children return to school following the Easter break. For now, he will continue to balance supporting his wife and family, and maintaining his official duties as he has done since her operation in January. Queen Camilla stood in for the king at the ancient royal Mondi ceremony in Worcester earlier this week, marking the first time a consort has performed the duty on behalf of the monarch. During the service, the king in the sovereign's seat, which was situated near to the front of the altar while his family took their usual places in the stalls. Well wishers were seen stood outside the chapel this morning as they awaited the king's arrival, holding balloons that read Get Well Soon as well as Happy Easter. Two royal fans, draped in the Union Jack and Welsh flag, clutched onto life-size cutouts of the King and Princess of Wales as they awaited the monarch's arrival. Anne Daly, 65, from Cardiff, Wales, held up a Welsh flag when the King arrived said, Did you see the smile, Charles, gave me? He pointed at my flag. He had a lovely smile. He looked well. I think he was happy that we've all come. She added, I wanted to show my support for King Charles and the Princess of Wales who we are all wishing well. We want to show them that we miss them, Wales misses her. She may not be here but she is not forgotten. The Easter Matins service, as it is officially known, concluded around 11.45 a.m. The King was applauded by members of the public as he left St. George Chapel to cries of Happy Easter. Camilla was presented with a posy of white and yellow flowers by a young boy.